my workshop. This week I'm going to do another small turning job. Um, this is a, the crown or the head of uh, a wattle tree. Now um, this is really dried out and it started to crack in, in places but um, the, the centre of it and there's that many sort of limbs coming out of it. Uh, I'm not expecting it to crack anymore. Um, so it's probably a good candidate to um, turn up on the lay. So I'll make a, a small small vase out of it. Um, but I, I do see there's a few grub holes in it. So uh, it might turn out to be a pot puree vase or box or let's see what it turns up to be. Right, oh, I've taken off some of the um, offending sticking out parts and um, I've determined that this is going to be the bottom and this is going to be the top. Um, so what I'm going to do now is knock off some of the lumpy bits, make it somewhere near round and true up this bottom end and um, make a tenon on here so I can turn it around, um, put it into my, my scroll chuck and um, then we'll see what happens. Okay, I've machined back now about uh, just over half an inch. There's about a half an inch gap I can actually get my finger through there. So, so because this is uh, sort of a miss and hit sort of affair, um, it can easily grab the tool. So to prevent that, you need to get in closer with your um, tool rest to uh, try and prevent that from happening a bit. turning into more of a pot puree pot um, but you know I think it might be quite interesting with the, the different patterns although there's the back is partly missing there's a couple of cracks in it and some worm holes or grub holes whatever they are it, it, it's still very interesting I think so um, we'll keep going with it might end up in the fire yet. Yeah, now I've got it off. Um, I've got a quite a prominent crack that goes up through there, so. Before I go any further, I'm going to have to put some uh, real special glue in there to try and it'll come out. It's like honey. trying machine I can tell you but uh, I'm not gonna give up with it I'll make it into some sort of a pot <music> yeah 
yeah this wood is really really hard so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take a fair old chunk out of the uh, out of the center with this um, speed bit let's see how we go Some really tough wood in there. Really tough. actually doing here is um, what I would call an undercut in other words the diameter here of the, the, the mouth is smaller than what the actual diameter of the the uh, little bars is on the inside um, I'm sure some of you wood turners are going to correct me on that but uh, that's where I would determine the type of cut um, I don't know <laughs> I was going to try for a thin wall but uh, I haven't got much material left there and I'm going to probably break through and some of this is looking a little little dicey and I really don't want to break it now um, so what I'll probably do is I'll uh, clean the inside up down there and um, I've never really been very successful with um, thin walled um, Vases, but I'll just clean him up and I'll take him a little thinner, as thin as I dare anyway. Now because I want to keep the actual lines and patterns actually in the material here, I don't want to sand this area, so what we'll the way I found to do it, to keep the lines and sort of actually make them more prominent, is use one of these. It's actually cleaned a little bit of the glue out of the crack there, but I think that's okay. I'll take you in for a bit of a cosy look there. So you can now see all the swirly patterns of the, the, the grain. Uh, the only one thing that I've got left is um, a little bit of bubbliness there, but I can't do much about that. But I've got all the lovely grain here. That was a wormhole. But um, and you, if you're thinking of doing this type of thing, uh, you do need to use the wire brush or the rotary wire brush on this before you sand <laughs> because otherwise um, obviously when you start using the wire brush what you've sanded ends up looking like well you haven't sanded it that didn't turn out too bad did it so I hope you've enjoyed um, this video from me today. If you have, please subscribe to my channel or press like. Alternatively, the red box down there, as always, uh, that'll take you straight to my YouTube channel, where I hope one day you'll you'll join me to see some more of my videos. So, bye for now.